Hey guys, I bought a Range Rover that's overheating. So in some of these modern cars, you gotta pressurize the system uh, for the water to go where it needs to go. So right now I'm gonna show you basically what I'm doing and I'll explain what's happening. Here's the kit that pressurizes the system. This is my radiator plug. Here's some of the, this, this basically is different fittings that will fit to any uh, radiator cap. You need to find which one matches yours. So the kit, basically the yellow tape matched up. All you gotta do is plug it in. Range Rover, you need, you need it to hold 15 PSI pressure. So basically slightly over that area right there. As I'm pumping it, it does not actually hold any kind of pressure and everything's being leaked out over here. And, th and this is actually where I've noticed a little bit of steam is coming out. So the car right now is on reduced power, but uh, it basically was starting up just fine and driving it. Uh, now, last time I shut it off, it did not want to start back up. And I think a lot of it has to do with um, because it's overheating. Well, because it's not over because it was overheating, your computer detected that. Maybe it did not cool down. Okay, now it's actually running. So let's basically, let me show you how this worked. So watch this green, green uh, pressure gauge. So you're do, doing this basically, you're pressurizing it. So good thing uh, the vehicle did not uh, shut up because uh, obviously it cooled down and now it's no longer shutting out. But I'm gonna show you what's going on on the dash a little bit. As you can see, no matter what I do, the, it, the pressure is like zero, like it's non-existent. So we're just gonna go ahead and actually separate this and remove it. What I will do right now is add some water to it. Last time I added a lot less water than this. So we're gonna observe to see if it creates any bubbles. Let's put this back on it. Let's see if you could apply some more pressure. This is how you install the kit. Like that, just like a compressor hose. Take a look at this area here. It's actually coming out over here. So in this area, it's it's actually not holding pressure. So I think it's important. I think it's important for this vehicle for the pressure to be proper. If, this, if there's a leak, the system's not going to properly pressurize. Therefore, it's going to actually overheat. So I think what this uh, vehicle needs right now is another radiator. Here's the thermostat where it's located. The thermostat was recently replaced. I can tell that because it's looking brand new bolts here. I did remove it and then I removed that thermostat that fell apart on me. But this, this did not solve the issue. As you can tell this whole entire time, the vehicle has been operational. Let me show you the, the temperature gauge on this vehicle. So it looks like we're three minutes and 53 seconds into the video. So we're looking at basically uh, the temperature gauge to be like halfway. So I do believe that if the radiator is leaking, it's not building proper pr pressure and it needs to be properly pressurized in order for it to, uh, to not overheat. Uh, some, some of the vehicles like a Cadillac is like that. If it's not properly pressurized, the whole system just will not work. And not only that, it needs to be proper type of coolant. We're using water because obviously uh, some of it was lost. Now, we are creating bubbles over here, as you can see. It wasn't doing this before. I do think it is starting to kind of like overheat. And because of that, this is going on. And the water has turned dark. This was pink, so possibly the water is now going where it's supposed to be. This wasn't doing it before. So this might be a good sign and a bad sign at once because this might be a head gasket leak. So what do we have here? We have water coming out of the tailpipe. It's starting to drip down. 
this wasn't happening before so this does starting to look a lot like a head gasket because before it was not even bubbling so let's look at the temperature gauge again the temperature gauge is kind of like just sitting like how it is so there's a couple things we could do we could buy a head gasket uh, repair kit and we could actually pour it in there and we could try to attempt to fix it that way so as you can tell bubbles 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 so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and actually remove this well it's starting to starting to basically go down i'm just going to remove it I'll, I'll let it i'll let it do its thing i'll let it do its thing because uh some of it needs to spill out so the head gasket's really 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 looking pretty bad right now so this is fine we're just gonna let it all out because I think somebody possibly tried to fix this before and the reason I'm just kind of like letting it out uh, in the next video we're going to attempt to fix this thing uh, by simply uh, using a head gasket uh, fix so let's see what's gonna happen it's really bubbling so i think the head gasket is pretty done on here at least i know that something going on it's not just pressure related it's just it's just a head gasket because it wasn't bubbling at all like i'm serious i was watching it another uh times i started it wasn't doing that at all so let's see if the temperature is overheating pretty bad it's still in the center so that's good so i think there is um a possibility to save this engine simply running a head gasket uh, mix in here and trying to save it that way but I think I'm gonna have to uh, get some more fluid and try to do that but this fluid is dirty and I think it's because now some of it is mixing uh, together with the uh, exhaust gases and possibly this is why it's this dirty so since the last cut um, basically 30 seconds has passed and I'm in here and uh, it, it looks like it's slightly below um, center for overheating but at least I know what I'm dealing with right now so let's go ahead and shut it off let's go ahead and shut it off and let's take a look at that let's see what's gonna happen so Okay, now the water is starting to kind of like go down a little bit um, now I wanted the water to spill out how it was spilling out because once I get the head gasket fixed I want to make sure that I have enough water but at the same time well excuse me enough room for the head gasket repair kit um, because it might be like a two-stage process uh, there is a way to, to you know to run it as a least resort so there is kind of like a pressure release over here so this was slightly activated and i think it's because it's it's kind of like attached over here so obviously it was leaking here i don't know if somebody already tried the head gasket repair because that is the last line of defense you have if it doesn't help it doesn't help you know that's like one of those things if it does not help you then you have to take the engine out anyways you have to replace it and you know what can i say it is what it is you know this is what you kind of run into uh with that so with that being said i'm gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and uh call this video to an end i'm gonna shut things down i'm gonna go uh return this kit back to the store because you rent it for 289 dollars once you give it back they give you your money back so that's what we're gonna do and i'm gonna go ahead and buy a head gasket fix make another video with me trying to fix it that way thank you guys for watching see ya. morning causes serious eye irritation mm -hmm. um, let's see so shake well for 30 seconds and pour in here you normally add coolant mm -hmm. and pour in where you normally add coolant leak will stop in one to three minutes after engine reaches operating temperature warning causes serious eye irritation toxic Okay, so we don't need the warnings. So in three minutes, it fixes it. So that's called a K-seal, works in minutes. So this is simple.
It's very simple. I've used it one time on an Acura. I was, uh -huh. I didn't want it. It was a V6 Acura that uh -huh. I didn't want to get into. I poured it in there. It alleviated my problem for a short amount of time. It didn't fix it, but it did alleviate the problem. I still could drive it for like about another week. But then I just tore into the engine just to be safe because I knew what it was. Okay, so it's like 18 bucks. Yeah. That's not bad. I was considering this stuff, cooling system repair, but this does not say head gasket. Um, it says stop coolant leaks, overheating, and other cooling system problems. So this might work, but I, I like this. I'm going to try this. Yeah, I would give it a go. I mean... It's like, hey, you know, better than taking the engine apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, Jaguar engines are no fun to rebuild. Uh, really? Yeah. I mean... No, not really. It, it, it could be fun headache. <laughs> it could be a fun headache. It, it'd be interesting, but... It'd be interesting, yeah. But anyways, let's try this.